Hello everybody, today is Wednesday. It is very, very close to my birthday, so I'm really excited. Today I'm going to be testing out the Revlon Candid Foundation. This is brand new. It's been out, I think, for a couple of months. Um, it's supposed to be a natural finish anti-pollution, so I actually did an 8-hour wear test today. I am at the end of the 8-hour wear test. I was really interested to try out this foundation because I've seen a little bit of reviews of it on YouTube, and then also because of its natural finish, and then also that it claims to be a medium buildable, buildable coverage and it's also supposed to be anti-pollution antioxidant um, so and it's supposed to be designed around like skincare so it's not supposed to be super harsh on your skin so that was why I really wanted to try this foundation out today so if you want to know how I feel about this foundation what it looked like throughout the day again I did do an eight hour wear test so you guys will be able to see how this foundation wears for a total of eight hours and if you guys want to know my thoughts then just keep on watching so on the website it says Revlon photo ready candid natural fitness anti-pollution foundation it's a skincare and inspired foundation that's ultra blendable, ultra buildable, and infuses antioxidants, anti-pollution, and anti-blue light ingredients. Um, it's supposed to be a creamy texture, medium buildable coverage, natural finish, and it says keep skin feeling moisturized all day. So this is the packaging that it comes in. I have the shade 150, and I think the name of the shade is Creme Boule. I've already primed my face, and the primer that I used was the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Dewy Primer. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the foundation. Oh, okay. Well, I'm only going to do one squirt because I want to see what one squirt does. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this with my ColourPop F15 brush. Put that on the brush. Oh, I feel like it already kind of covered up like the redness that I have. And the color is the color I matched pretty good. So with the brush I feel like, I mean I don't have any more product on my hand, I feel like I've only been able to get <laughs> one cheek but you know that's okay, we just add more. So I'm thinking the number of pumps that would be good for a full face would probably be, at least for one layer, would probably be like two and a half pumps, like three-ish. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just keep applying this to my face. Alright so after applying that with the brush I'm gonna go ahead and just push this in with like a regular beauty sponge so far I like it. Um, it almost, it's, it's weird to say but it almost feels like when it's on my skin right now that like my skin feels like wet. It almost, it almost has like a refreshing feeling to it if that makes any sense. <laughs> so so far I like the way that it's sitting on my skin from afar and looking at the mirror and looking at the viewfinder. Um, it looks good. It doesn't look cakey. Um, I don't feel like I want to add on another layer. Do you feel like it's true to the medium buildable coverage? Um, you know, I don't really see a lot of my redness or like my pinkest, my pink spots on my face coming through. So it's not sitting on my forehead really weird. I do have dry skin so foundations tend to look, um, you know, a little off on my forehead. So it doesn't look off at all. It does look a little cakey now that I'm a little bit close up. But I'm going to go ahead, finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I put on the rest of my makeup. I'll list down below everything that I've used on my face. I like the way the foundation wasn't making it hard for like me to blend out my blushes, any of the powders that I used. I don't feel like the powders like messed up the look of the foundation. I actually really like the way that it's sitting on my skin. Um, I do like that it's not patchy. I like that it's giving me good coverage. It looks great on my nose. It looks great on my chin. Um, so, so far I really, really like this foundation. So I'm going to go ahead and wear this for a couple of hours. I'll let y'all know what my final thoughts are on this Revlon Candid foundation. Hello everyone, I am back. It is 8 o'clock right now and so I've had this on for about 8 hours and I actually like it. I would wear this foundation again. Um, you know, I touched the bottom of my face a lot, so, you know, a lot of that is kind of away, so I did have to, like, kind of reapply it um, maybe about five hours into the wear test. So it's really not that bad. Um, you know, my forehead still looks pretty good. My nose still looks great. Um, you know, it did separate just a little bit on my nose, but I think that's from touching my face. Um, so overall, I think it is great for the quality. I think it's great for the price. I would definitely put this into my foundation routine. Normally, I use the Wet n Wild foundation, um, but I think I would use this again for sure, so I really like it. That is it for this video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching again. Happy Wednesday, and I hope that you guys have a great rest of your week. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you know when my next video is coming. But that is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching again. I'll see you later. Bye.